The Bessler 23C2 is a popular enlarger in dark rooms worldwide for maintaining ease of use while also including all the features needed to make great prints. There are several components of this equipment that influence print quality. Let's start at the top. This knob moves the enlarger bulb up and down to compensate for different film sizes. Larger film sizes, like medium format, require a lower bulb height. Smaller sizes, like 35mm, will require the topmost adjustment. Lower and on the right is the size adjustment crank. This moves the enlarger head up and down and is used to alter the size of the projected image. Below the size adjustment is the focus knob. This moves the enlarging lens up and down independent of the head and is the main way to adjust image focus and sharpness. Looking at the lens itself, there are f-stops which can be adjusted by twisting to the right or left. Be mindful of the lens you are using as the aperture range will vary. Immediately below the lens is a swiveling holder for contrast filters, which are used to adjust lights and darks in a print. Of course, none of these adjustments matter without an image to print from. This is where fill negatives come in. A negative carrier is used to hold the negative in place. This one is sized for a 35mm, but there are also options for other formats. The negative carrier is inserted into the enlarger bellows. The lever to open them is on the left side of the enlarger. Pull it, insert the negative carrier, then return the lever to the closed position. To see the rest of the process, we'll have to go dark to get a closer look. Similar to shooting film in a camera, the process of creating good print exposure is dictated by light and time. Light is primarily adjusted using the features we just outlined. Time is controlled here, using an external analog timer like this one. There are two switches on the timer. On the left is an override switch, which allows you to turn the bulb on and off manually. This function is most commonly used when composing an image before creating a print. On the right is a button that turns the bulb on and off automatically. This function is used for making timed exposures. To set the exposure duration, move the timer arm to the desired number of seconds. Once the timer has been set, press this button to start your exposure. The bulb will stay on while the timer ticks down, and then it will switch off when the time is up. The relationship between duration of light exposure and the effect on your image is very similar to the way that shutter speed works in your camera. Be prepared to experiment and create test strips to find the ideal image.